What's going on everybody? I'm back with another video and in today's video I have another trading card video. It is not an opening, but I'm going to be showing um, you my Luka Doncic um, PC or just collection. Um, not a ton of cards, but some that I think are pretty cool and have some value. So that's what I'll be doing today. Um, so some of these are, most of them are rookies, a few our second year is from this year, but um, obviously the bigger cards are the rookie ones, so I'll show those last. And yeah, so I'll start off with just a uh, hoop space from this year. Another hoops, um, this is a hollow lights, camera, action. I think this is a pretty cool insert, especially with the hollow parallel. Then next I have Going to his rookie year, two class of 2018 cards. These go for, I want to say, I don't know, they vary. I think it's over 20 or $30. Could be a lot more or a little less. But um, yeah, so now I have from this year's hoops um, a jersey card, which I think is pretty cool. Even though relic, well, it's a relic, so just like a napkin patch or whatever you want to call it. Just from the blue part of the jersey, no patch or anything. But I think it's just cool to have any piece of a big player or and a young star like his from his jersey. Even if it's not um, game-worn, it's still pretty cool. And last, I have uh, just a base rookie from Hoops. This is my only one that I have. Re I, I ripped a decent amount. Of hoops last year i opened up a hobby box i think of yeah of 1819 um a few blasters i think a few fat packs this was when i wasn't as into cards like i more did it just to really get base cards and send out for fan mail um and i wish i took better um like um precautions and keeping my cards um from getting damaged because some of them have damaged corners and it kind of bothers me that I wasn't as careful, but you know, can't really um, go back in time and fix that, but go through the cards one more time. To some hoops from this year, second year. His second year stuff has gone up, uh, even though it's hoops, still cool. I like that hollow insert, the mem card, and some rookie inserts, and the base hoops rookie. So um, he's another guy that is just really expensive. From his rookie year stuff, PSA 10 Prism bases alone go for over a thousand. Even raw can go over just th um, over like three hundred dollars. Um, the market is insane right now, so obviously it's going to be hard to get one of those. If I didn't open up blasters um, last year, and I didn't really open up much besides hoops um, in past years. This year I started opening up other products because I didn't really look I really went to my local t target just to find like a hoops blaster like that and um, this year I opened up some contenders um, basketball but I couldn't really open up much this year for basketball because when I started really getting into it especially over the quarantine um, I started looking at my collection more and um, even before that I was really into it I went to like a card show in January so probably like November, December of last year is when I really started um, learning more about it and getting really interested in it. So, sorry if I got a little off topic there, but um, that does it for this video. Um, if you enjoyed, please leave a thumbs up and a comment down below of which card um, you like the best out of the group. And if you have any big Luca rookies, um, uh, do you have any Prism base or anything like that, let me know. I would be interested um, to know what you have in your collection if you do. So thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.